All right, guys, what is growing on? So this is a question I've seen in Jim's videos like 10 or 15 times. People are always asking me, what are Jim's number one cash crops? So this video is gonna be solely based on Jim's top three cash crops for market for a new market gardener getting started. You know, what is bringing him quick results? What's growing the fastest? What's the quickest thing to come to market? So let's go find Jim. All right, Jim, what is growing on? Hey, you were wanting to know what the best cash crops are. Actually, this is one of them. It is. This is in the top three for sure, because I get, I probably sell 2,000 bags of these, you know? So, you know, three bucks a bag, that's what, six grand? Well, what is it? Arugula. Arugula. And it's my favorite one, it's called Astro. I like, the leaves are definitely bigger and it's definitely nicer. And you'll get six cuts off of this? No, this time of the year, that other one I'll get four off, this one I'll get three off of, the next one I'll only get two. It has the days lengthen, it's just they want to bolt quicker. Um, so it's not about heat, it's about day length, I swear. Um, you grow in multiple varieties of arugula? Nope. Just the one? Well, I grow the wasabi. Okay. But that's a bunch of green, so I just give a little bunches of that because it's so intense. But And then the greens mix, that's my go-to. I'm so well known for that, so I'll probably sell, I want, got to be another, probably 3,000 bags of those through the year um, and they're like a half pound well they're probably a pound this time of year so think about that wow and when you say the greens mix that's a combination of 50 different varieties of lettuce basically yeah right? if you just look at this row right wow. all those are mixed in i'll take you know three leaves off each one when i'm going so there'll be tatsoi in there there'll be endive some escarole but mostly lettuce um beet greens a little go in there and then those huckerai turnips the snow apples because they're such a quick turnaround. I mean, they're always in my shares and people just are waiting for them, you know? And I've already seen how I could even increase that because Coleman sells the roots separate from the tops. Oh, wow. You know, because I mean, he said it's exceptional green. So, you know, I wouldn't, I'll have to see how it looks in a display, but I mean, that's a thought. So you could, you know, get three or three bucks for the root and add another two bucks for the top. Now you're getting five instead of three. Um, what are you doing with the top now, anything? Well, I just tell them to eat it. Okay, you give you know? it to them with it. Yeah, I mean, separated. it looks good. I mean, they're so clean and everything. A lot of times they get raggedy and people cut the tops off. So, snow apples, greens mix, arugula. I said one more thing, what was it? The salad mix. The salad mix, yeah. So the top three for somebody getting into market gardening, you know, quick kind of, quick growing crops too, I'm guessing those yeah. are the reasons, right? Yeah, and you know, you know, this is probably more for time wise, this is a lot more money for the time spent, the arugula. Because the greens mix involves washing, packing. This, I don't wash, I just, you know, if you maintain it well, but it's all about having weed free beds too. Because there's no weeds in it and there's no dirt. People comment again and again that my veggies don't have dirt. What's the difference in the lettuce mix compared to the arugula of not having to be rinsed? Aren't they both grown in the same mulch? <laughs> they are, but you know, it's just, there's a lot more lower leaves and it's not an upright, so there's dirt kind of mixed in sometimes. And oftentimes, because there's a rosette, anything that falls, and you'll get that in there. So, you know, I'll, people will still get a ragged leaf and they might get an oak leaf in it, you know, but you know, this is such an upright thing that everything seems to fall through. So I, I never have a problem. Unless you seed it too dense, then the leaves will yellow and you don't want the yellow leaves in there. And it's all about timing too, because if I let this go another four days, it would be bigger and the leaves would start to yellow. So, I mean, there's about a two day window when it's really good, because if I would have cut it two days ago, I would have got almost half as much. Does your buyer's club get arugula every week? Pretty much. Pretty much, okay. You know, some of them complain. Others go, oh, you got the best arugula. So, but okay. they, if I leave out their greens mix, they'd be unhappy. So they get it every week. Okay. You know, that's, that's part of a CSA. You get a little bit of everything, you know. Yeah, you, you know, like and I'm going to try, because I'm growing this this year. So these are the red turnips, which I don't think are going to be very good, but I'm going to try just the turnip greens and mm. see. And then By we'll themselves. see. themselves. Yeah. Okay. Because like Coleman's doing with the other ones, but these got the red stems, so they might go. We'll see. You know, I should try them myself first. <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah, go make some money, guys. Well, hey, that was quick and easy and painless. Yeah. Thanks, All right, so I hope I got that question answered for you finally. I get that one all the time. What are the top, top three crops to bring to market? Which ones grow the quickest? Like Jim said, get out there and make some money, grow some food, rip out that grass, whether it be for a hobby, whether it be for a living, 
let's convert some of this yard into some more usable space. So don't be a grass hole. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you stay notified on all the new updates. And most importantly, get out there and pound some dirt.